The nocturnal escapades as an ex-Uber driver plunged me into encounters with various unsavory characters, drunken revelers, faux handicapped riders, all part of the unsettling mosaic. Yet, none haunted my memory like the chilling specter of Tom. He stood as a grim testament to the darkness lurking within the veil of a seemingly normal ride. It was the frost-laden night of a December Friday, shrouded in a biting cold that gnawed at the bones. Boredom tethered me to the wheel, motivating me to embark on late-night pickups. This macabre tale unfolded two years ago. At 18, slender and naive, I maneuvered a new Honda Accord, a lavish gift from indulgent parents. My father's caution echoed, a blade nestled within the car, a precaution against the unknown aberrations that might slip into my passenger seat. Tom's request flickered on my screen, a few miles away from a bustling shopping precinct. Responding, I drove, arriving to spot a congregation of teenagers emanating an aura of trouble. Avoiding their gaze, I circled the parking lot twice, seeking solitude, but a creeping sense of unease clawed at me when a figure emerged from behind, approaching my car. Calling out Tom, his response felt oddly detached. He reluctantly settled in behind me, an unusual choice, casting shadows of suspicion. Engaging in small talk proved futile, his responses as barren as a desolate wasteland. By the time we'd covered five miles, discomfort swirled within the confined space. His penetrating stare, palpable through the rearview mirror, unnerved me. Accelerating, I yearned to sever this ominous journey. By the eighth mile, the surroundings transformed, a desolate, isolated landscape with trees as silent sentinels. Doubt gnawed at me as the address he provided seemed to lead to nowhere. A glance confirmed my fears. His gaze, a malevolent presence fixated upon me. Summoning courage, I questioned the address's validity, met with reluctant affirmation. The final mile loomed, leading to a dead-end street cloaked in impenetrable darkness. Dread gripped me as I approached, hoping against hope for a sign of life amidst the black void. But the road stood barren, a desolation that signaled impending doom. Gritting my teeth, I pretended to miss the turn, hoping to evade the sinister trap laid out in the abyss. A desperate cry forced me to navigate the dead-end road where the headlights unveiled a haunting reality, nothing but trees, a harbinger of impending horror. Heedless of my pulsating fear, Tom's soft voice broke the eerie silence, expressing gratitude for the ride. Money no longer held importance, my life hung in the balance. His request to exit and a bizarre plea for assistance triggered alarm bells, intensifying my dread. Instinct guided my trembling hand, brandishing the blade as his grip tightened around my neck, suffocating me. With a surge of terror-fueled strength, I plunged the blade into his arm, eliciting a guttural scream that released its stranglehold. Seizing the moment, I fled, the car hurtling away until the safety of a bustling street offered solace. The trembling aftermath deterred me from contacting the authorities. Fear held me captive, urging me to flee home, burying the nightmarish episode within. The harrowing ordeal punctuated the end of my Uber driving days, a haunting reminder of the malevolence lurking beneath seemingly innocent encounters. It was the 4th of July, and the city was alive with excitement due to the annual music festival. Eager to make some extra cash, I had signed up for an Uber shift that night. Balancing this side gig alongside another job was tough, but the flexibility it offered was a huge plus. As the festival wound down, the streets began to fill with revelers in search of rides. Ride requests flooded my app, and I picked one closest to my location. A man, reeking of marijuana, approached my car. I brushed off the odor, presuming it was from the festivities. I greeted him with a smile and verified that he was my passenger for the night. From the moment he settled into the back seat, his piercing stare felt off. It was an uncomfortable sensation, and I just wanted to finish the trip as quickly as possible. In the midst of the ride, he started talking on the phone in French. I understand a bit of French and his words struck a nerve. He was talking about being with a girl, and it sounded unsettling. Instinctively, I felt a sense of alarm. The situation was unsettling, and I needed to think fast. 
I concocted a story, pretending to call my boyfriend, claiming there was a family emergency. I told the guy that I had to cut the trip short and drop him off earlier than intended. The urgency in my voice convinced him, and he agreed without much fuss. As I approached the designated drop-off point, my heart raced. I was relieved to see it approaching, but anxiety still pulsed through me. I stopped the car, and the man got out, leaving behind a trail of lingering discomfort. Once he was out of sight, I let out a deep breath, trying to steady my racing heart. Without wasting a moment, I dialed my boyfriend's number. Panicking, I poured out the entire bizarre incident to him. His confusion turned to concern as I recounted the unsettling details. It felt good to have someone to confide in, and my boyfriend's voice brought me a sense of security. After the call, I reported the unsettling encounter to Uber. I wasn't sure what action they'd take, but it felt essential to inform them about the incident. The rest of the ride felt like a blur, my nerves on edge as I anxiously checked my surroundings, hoping the man wouldn't somehow return or follow me. Reflecting on that night, I couldn't shake off the lingering feeling of unease. I was immensely thankful for my quick thinking, and I'm grateful that my boyfriend and a bit of French helped me get out of that situation. It was a chilling experience that reminded me to always trust my instincts and be cautious, especially in unfamiliar situations. In the chilling year of 2014, I found myself reliant on the sinister convenience of Uber. My ability to drive had been shackled for a year due to my foolish mistake, some DUI charges staining my record. A local nightclub bar often drew me in during weekends, a place of merriment tainted by the foreboding shadow of an impending horror. That night, an ominous air clung to the atmosphere, whispering unsettling vibes into my senses. Feeling unwell, I departed early, the time hovering between one whiz and two whiz in the frigid morning. A bitter chill gnawed at the air, rendering the walk home an unbearable feat. I summoned an Uber, and a figure named Alex emerged as the closest driver. His profile exuded an eerie aura, an older man with a grayish goatee, a black beanie cap, and a glaring absence of warmth in his photo. Despite the disconcerting appearance, Desperation overshadowed Kaotian. Alex, with his aging Chevy Malibu, was a mere two miles away. He arrived, a dilapidated silver 2003 model, an unwelcome sight. Ignoring any pleasantry, he sat silently at the curb. I ventured into the back seat, immediately engulfed by discomfort. Alex neither greeted me nor glanced in my direction, his voice a haunting whisper as he inquired about my destination. As we traversed Main Street, my unis mounted, the car veering away from my home's direction. Alerting him, he turned, steering into obscure residential areas. He never input my address into his device, leaving me in an unsettling state of uncertainty. I took matters into my hands, entering the address on my phone, hoping he'd follow the GPS directions. But he missed turns, leading me deeper into the abyss of fear. Panic clawed at my insides when I noticed a handgun nestled within the middle glove box beside him. My attempts to exit failed. The child lock thwarted my escape. Racing thoughts fueled by dread consumed me, rendering the option of contacting the authorities perilous. Survival instincts kicked in. I plotted to disable the lock discreetly, moving stealthily to the opposite end of the back seat, hidden from his scrutiny. At the mercy of traffic lights, each moment was an eternity, my heart racing in tandem with the passing seconds. As a signal finally turned yellow, I seized the opportunity, reaching for the child lock button. Startled, he lunged, a guttural scream piercing the air. His hand darted towards the gun, but adrenaline propelled me out of the car, seeking refuge from a nearby Cadillac Escalade. My cries for help fell on deaf ears as they sped away, leaving me exposed to the imminent danger. Desperation drove me into a 24-hour grocery store, seeking refuge as I summoned a taxi. The sobering terror eclipsed any inebriation, rendering me coherent during the ride home. Reporting the driver to Uber yielded promises of escalating the situation to authorities, but a week passed before an officer arrived 
probing for details. The aftermath left me haunted, never unraveling the fate of that malevolent driver. The trauma shackled me from ever trusting Uber again. The lingering horror etched deep within, a chilling reminder of the night I narrowly escaped a malevolent force cloaked in the guise of a ride-sharing service. Sarah's chilling recollection echoed through the corridors of her memory, an evening marred by an inexplicable terror that transcended the bounds of her seemingly secure reality. The tranquil haven of her college town, shielded by its reputation for safety and serenity, suddenly metamorphosed into a sinister landscape on that fateful night. A night that would forever etch fear into her soul. November's grasp loomed heavy as Sarah and her comrades congregated within the warmth of a bar's embrace. The cacophony of finals conquered, shots raised in triumph as mirth swept through the jovial gathering. Yet the city's underbelly, adorned with an array of pubs and taverns, bore witness to sporadic instances of strife and chaos. The clock's hands inched towards the witching hour. Sarah, cognizant of her imminent journey home, bid her companions adieu, embarking on a journey through the inebriated labyrinth of her own. Summoning an Uber in the dimly lit hours of the night, she awaited the vehicle's arrival, an act of faith amidst her alcohol-induced haze. An unorthodox spectacle unfolded as a car, deviating from the app's prescribed path, beckoned her forth. Dismissing the anomaly as an aberration in technology's tapestry, she embarked on her clandestine voyage. Yet, the Uber's conductor, a harbinger of foreboding, failed to adhere to the common courtesies, cloaking his intentions in a foreboding silence. A trek spiraling into the abyss of unknown terrain unveiled itself, as Sarah's pleas for course correction fell on deaf ears. The labyrinthine streets unfurled, betraying her trust and unraveling her sense of security. A crescendo of alarm echoed through her consciousness as the vehicle halted, nestled beside a desolate office edifice, an ominous backdrop for a nightmare to unfurl. In a kaleidoscope of panic, Sarah realized the insidious nature of her predicament. The sinister charade of a fake Uber driver spiraled into a sinister odyssey. The driver's directive, a prelude to an unfolding malevolence, propelled her into action. Time, a muffled whisper in the tempest of fear, spurred her flight, a desperate dash toward sanctuary. Hurtling through the darkened streets, fate guided her to a haven, an open shop, a refuge in the heart of the nocturnal void. Summoning the guardians of law, Sarah recounted her harrowing ordeal as the tendrils of fear coiled around her consciousness. The wail of sirens pierced the night's silence. Two cruisers descended upon the scene, a testament to her bravery amidst the veils of darkness. Yet the malevolent specter had vanished into the obscurity, eluding the grasp of justice. Weeks later, a chilling revelation seeped through the fabric of news, a haunting account of a couple ensnared in a similar faux uber ruse. One lost to the inky embrace of death, the other marred by the cruel scars of survival. The unsettling truth hovered, casting shadows on the driver's elusive identity, the car's spectral disappearance haunting the annals of mystery. As Sarah grappled with her own brush with the malevolent, she pondered the abyss that awaited those ensnared by the insidious web. An enigma shrouded in the fog of the unknown, an enduring testament to the horrors lurking within the ephemeral realm of ride-sharing. In the shadowy aftermath of my car accident, a sinister sequence of events unfolded, a tale woven with terror and chance encounters, one that reshaped my perception of fate. Shattered glass, a broken arm, and myriad cuts, the remnants of a collision that nearly stole my life. Weeks later, my weary body still bore the scars, rendering each movement a painful reminder. The accident lurked in the background, a story of its own, a brush with tragedy orchestrated by an oblivious texter who careened through a red light. Yet, life trudged on. A bartender's late-night toil at a local club extended my hours into the cold, desolate hours of the morning. The accident had snatched away my means of transportation, leaving me dependent on the ominous allure of Uber. 
That fateful night, as the clock neared 2.30 a.m., I summoned an Uber to ferry me home, a sanctuary from the eerie night's perils. Joe, an older man clad in a checkered flannel, emerged as my designated driver. A facade of friendliness cloaked his true intentions. The rain cascaded relentlessly, obscuring visibility as we navigated through treacherous, unfamiliar streets. A labyrinth fraught with shadows and whispered threats. The diversion onto narrower roads, necessitated by city renovations, led us into a labyrinthine neighborhood, an enclave notorious for its gangland whispers and the sordid dance of illicit dealings. With a jolt, Joe halted, a maze of cones obstructing our path. Bewildered, I watched as he ventured to clear the impediments, but the ominous shadows took form. A fleet of vehicles materialized, ensnaring us within their malevolent design. Panic seized me as a blockade emerged, a trap orchestrated by a horde of faceless figures, their intentions shrouded in malice. High beams pierced the veil of night, illuminating the scene, an orchestration of terror. Chaos ensued as assailants converged, a menacing symphony of kicks, punches, and harrowing screams. I pleaded with Joe to surrender, to appease our captors, but his resolve manifested differently. A stoic calm enveloped him as he maneuvered the car with calculated precision, shifted into reverse, ramming our assailants vehicle, then skillfully navigating a daring escape. Gunshots punctuated the air, a cacophony of danger lurking in the night's cloak. At breakneck speeds, Joe raced through the darkened streets, evading our pursuers, a testament to his nerve and our improbable survival. The blur of events led us straight to the haven of law enforcement, a sanctuary amid the maelstrom. Days melded into weeks, and the silence from the authorities lingered, an echo of lost hope. But the chilling truth unraveled, an unspeakable horror unveiled through the flickering glow of the television screen. A woman's tragic fate bore haunting resemblance to our ordeal, a life snuffed out, her vehicle hijacked, and her body discarded in the inky depths of an alley. The realization hit hard, a numbing wave of emotions, gratitude mingled with the stark realization of an escape from a shared doom. The car accident that marred my past now glowed as an unforeseen savior, a twisted blessing that led me to Joe's vigilant rescue. The sinister night had placed me on a collision course with death, averted only by the serendipitous presence of a guardian, a chance encounter that rewrote the narrative of my survival. Reflection deepened the understanding, a brush with death that transformed tragedy into a providential intervention. Gratitude mingled with sorrow for the woman whose fate nearly mirrored mine. In the dark tapestry of fate, my car accident evolved from a stroke of ill luck into a lifeline, an unexpected guardian that spared me from a tragic demise. The darkness of a midnight city veiled the ominous tale that unfolded, a night that commenced innocently until it morphed into a perilous ordeal that would etch fear into the deepest corners of memory. In a vibrant city that never truly sleeps, I found myself entrapped in a web of horror. A mere 25-year-old woman, I ventured to visit an old high school friend, beckoned by nostalgia. Our reunion bloomed amidst city lights, a kaleidoscope of memories rekindled in laughter and conversations. As the clock struck midnight, my sojourn concluded, and I summoned an Uber for the swift journey back to the hotel, my temporary sanctuary. A familiar white Nissan SUV pulled over, a semblance of routine in a nocturnal escapade. Oblivious to the imminent nightmare, I greeted my friend before entrusting myself to the night's anonymous driver, Initial pleasantries ensued. Innocuous conversation veiled an ominous undercurrent. His friendly demeanor, a veneer concealing sinister intentions, devolved into an unnerving fixation on my phone, a prized possession. His probing insistence to examine it sparked unease, amplified when he seized the device, engrossed in its inspection. Discomfort mingled with fear as our journey deviated from familiarity. Desperation punctuated my requests for the return of my phone, met with unsettling laughter and veiled threats. Each turn on the eerily silent roads furthered my trepidation, 
a gut-wrenching realization of an impending ordeal. As the streets grew desolate, my heart raced in sync with the wheels turning toward a sinister destination. The driver's chilling silence, his grim smile, and the abrupt halt on a secluded road for Warnett a perilous turn of events. Terror seized me as the man lurched menacingly, imprisoning me in the car. No, my feebly resistance echoed, futile against his advancing malice. Panic gripped me, a primal instinct to fight, to survive. I unleashed kicks, desperate blows that briefly startled him. Harnessing a moment of distraction, I summoned strength, landing a kick that disoriented the assailant, a fleeting reprieve. In a heart-stopping instant, I pried open the door, the fear-infused adrenaline propelling me into the unknown. Sprinting down an unfamiliar street, I found refuge in the shadowy anonymity of trees and hills. A calculated escape led me to a bustling thoroughfare, a gas station, a beacon of fleeting safety. Breathless and shaken, I pleaded for aid, my plea resonating through the quiet night. Relief mingled with terror as the police arrived, the shattered remnants of my iPhone, a solemn testament to the harrowing ordeal, scattered along the desolate road. The stark revelation that the man was an imposter, a predator camouflaged in familiarity, cast a haunting shadow on the night's events. A serendipitous call from my concerned friend, a lifeline that disrupted the nefarious ploy, a mere heartbeat away from unspeakable tragedy. Amidst shattered glass and tattered nerves, the night concluded, an encounter that reshaped the contours of safety and trust. A night that began with misplaced trust evolved into a cautionary tale etched in shattered screens and shattered trust. A journey that ventured perilously close to the precipice of darkness, saved by a timely intervention. The pre-dawn shifts at the gym had become an eerie ritual, a monotonous cadence broken only by unsettling incidents. On this peculiar day, weariness enveloped me, my mind a haze from a restless night. As the clock struck eleven, a bone-deep exhaustion consumed me. Desiring only respite, I summoned an Uber. Shane, the driver, and his blue sedan materialized as my means of escape. But the car's interior felt frosty, an unsettling chill that crept beneath my skin, far colder than the 50-degree air outside. Shane's gaze, a scrutinizing glare through the rearview mirror, signaled a conversation that took a sinister turn. What began as casual banter morphed into an unnerving interrogation probing into the depths of my life, a discomfort that seeped through every word he uttered. His unsolicited advice twisted my stomach, urging me to wield my appearance as a weapon in the workplace, a suggestion that dripped with unsettling intentions. I attempted to steer the dialogue away, yet Shane persisted, insistent upon delving deeper into intrusive subjects. Minutes stretched into an eternity, the journey dragging on, a web of discomfort that ensnared me in his unnerving dialogue. His dismissive attitude toward relationships, a mockery of meaningful connections, painted him as a predator hiding behind a facade of casual conversation. Relief surged as the journey ended, but my election was short-lived. His ominous parting words, a request for my number met with a chilling promise. It sent shivers down my spine. A knot tightened in my gut, urging me to deceive, to elude his grasp. Disembarking far from home, I feigned nonchalance, but my ruse was futile. Shane lingered, his predatory presence a looming specter, tracking my every step. The fear etched deep, compelling me to evade his grasp, to hide within the semblance of normalcy. With each passing moment, his car remained a haunting sentinel, an ominous reminder of his relentless pursuit. Panic surged as he lingered, circling my sanctuary, a relentless predator stalking his prey. Desperation seized me, a frantic call to authorities, an effort to shatter the grip of his menace. But the arrival of law enforcement failed to deter Shane's sinister resolve. He vanished into the night, his ominous presence lingering, unshaken by the authorities' indifference. The unsettling episode marked its end with Uber's notification of his expulsion, a hollow victory in the face of lurking dread. 
his intentions obscured by the shadows of his eerie actions, a sense of foreboding lingered, the unspoken horrors that might have been, a chilling reminder of the dark abyss concealed beneath seemingly innocuous encounters, leaving me haunted by the uncertainty of what might have transpired. The encounter with Shane, a brush with a darkness that loomed beyond the edges of safety, lingered as a stark reminder, a testament to the unseen dangers lurking beneath the veneer of normalcy. Grateful for the escape, yet haunted by the unanswered question, what sinister fate did I narrowly avoid at his hands? In the hushed echoes of a moonlit night, a tale unfolded. A tale veiled in a spectral veil, shrouded in mystery and foreboding shadows. Three or four years ago, I toiled relentlessly, seeking refuge from the mundane routine in dual occupations. By day, I toiled diligently in a job. By night, I ventured into the enigmatic realm of Ubir, traversing the nocturnal landscapes for passengers seeking passage through the city streets. One ominous night, an older man summoned my services, an enigmatic figure, draped in an antiquated attire that whispered of Era's past. As he entered my car, a chilling silence enveloped the air, an uncanny void that echoed his peculiar demeanor. A five-second delay before he reciprocated my greeting set an eerie tone for the night that lay ahead. He directed me to a destination that defied logic, an obscure location that seemed devoid of purpose, a desolate spot, not a building or landmark in sight. An inquiry to validate the accuracy of his chosen drop-off was met with a peculiar stare and a cryptic affirmation. Determined to break the haunting silence that hung like a pall, I engaged in futile attempts at small talk, seeking to ward off the creeping weariness that threatened to engulf my senses. His responses, if any, were curt, his countenance steeped in an unsettling silence. The weary night dragged on, the fatigue of long hours sapping the last vestiges of wakefulness. Finally, the obscure endpoint loomed into view, an eerie rendezvous at the roadside, flanked by looming woods. Perturbed by the surreal setting, I halted the car, seeking confirmation from the enigmatic passenger. Silence reigned supreme as he disembarked, his reticence a chilling precursor to an inexplicable sequence. My gaze fixated on the obscure figure, his form receding into the enshrouded woods, yet his vanishing silhouette perplexed me, evaporating into the Stygian darkness, swallowed by the haunting embrace of the night. Confounded and disconcerted, I turned to my phone to document the mysterious journey, only to confront an abyssal void where the Uber app once provided evidence of the inexplicable ride. A sudden and eerie absence, a deletion of history that left me disoriented and lost in a surreal labyrinth of perplexity. Exhausted and disconcerted, I sought solace in the sanctuary of home, my mind swathed in bewildering contemplations. Was it the cruel jest of sleep-deprived hallucinations, a macabre figment of an exhausted mind, or a surreal encounter with the spectral unknown, forever etched in the cryptic annals of memory? To this day, the unsettling conundrum remains, a chilling enigma that defies explanation, lingering as an unanswered riddle in the labyrinth of my mind. A haunting, inexplicable encounter with the spectral unknown, leaving me stranded in the twilight zone between reality and the enigmatic shadows that cloak the inexplicable. It was a few years ago, right after my college graduation. As I settled back home, contemplating my future, my friends and I decided to hit the city bars, celebrating our academic triumphs. Nighttime revelry ensued, hopping between packed venues, savoring the euphoria of newfound freedom. Amid the swirling lights and raucous laughter, the evening hours blurred into early morning. Wearied from the revelry, I summoned an Uber, my mind hazy with intoxication. The car pulled up, a white Nissan SUV, and, with a casual glance at the app, I discerned it was my ride. Nero, the driver, greeted me, but the moment I settled in, discomfort enveloped me. His thick accent and broken English seemed trivial at first, but his demeanor set an ominous tone. 
Inappropriate remarks and invasive comments punctuated the ride, and I felt the sinking unease of an isolated traveler in the dead of night. Navigating the city streets, I observed the route diverge from the expected path. The highway to my home dwindled behind us, and alarm bells rang as I realized our trajectory headed southward. Panic rose, amplified when a text pinged from the real Uber driver waiting at the bar's parking lot. Struggling to maintain composure, I attempted escape, yet found myself ensnared by child locks, confined to the ominous ride. Panic surged as I dialed 911, praying for rescue, only to find the call disconnected. In desperation, I persisted, clinging to hope while hurtling further from familiarity. Time became a blur, an unyielding passage that stretched into an abyss of fear and uncertainty. The car veered toward an exit, a sliver of opportunity in the perilous journey. Summoning courage, I fumbled with the child lock, a silent plea for freedom. By some miracle, the lock relented, and seizing the fleeting moment, I bolted from the vehicle. Heart pounding, I sought refuge, banging on a nearby truck's window, imploring for salvation. The driver, sensing urgency, offered refuge, our escape punctuated by the rogue car's fleeting pursuit. In the aftermath, authorities probed, attempting to trace the elusive Nero. Yet, the transient nature of the night concealed his identity, leaving a chilling void of unresolved terror. The haunting memories, the relentless trauma, etched a permanent scar, altering my very essence. Surviving that harrowing ordeal marked me irrevocably. The once vibrant soul now shrouded in perpetual apprehension, haunted by the sinister shadows that lurk in seemingly mundane encounters. Each day, a relentless echo of the night that could have spiraled into unspeakable horror. A tale of survival amidst the precipice of calamity. A year had passed. Yet the haunting memory of that spine-chilling night remained etched in the recesses of my mind. A night ensnared in terror, veiled within the confines of an unsuspecting birthday celebration. Gathered at a friend's apartment, festivities danced in the air, enveloping the gathering of 10 to 15 jovial souls. As the revelry waned and the nocturnal shadows stretched their ebony fingers, a handful of us beckoned Ubers to ferry us to the comforting embrace of our abodes. My ride arrived, an Uber summoned from the ethereal abyss of the night. The driver offered a cordial greeting, an amiable prelude to an odyssey fraught with unforeseen terror. Laden with weariness, I hoped for silence, seeking solace in the embrace of somnolence. A seemingly innocuous remark resonated through the confines of the car, an eerie proclamation that I was the culmination of his nocturnal journey before he embarked on his sojourn home. An exchange of polite nods preceded my deliberate immersion into the cocoon of my headphones. The journey waned, heralding my return to the familiar precincts of my apartment building. A three-tiered edifice, each level an outpost unto itself, beckoning to the embrace of its residents. On the first floor, my sanctuary awaited, a space of comfort and repose. As I alighted from the Uber, I exchanged words of gratitude, bidding the driver farewell. Yet, a disquieting revelation unveiled itself, a disconcerting realization that he lingered, an inexplicable presence lingering at the fringes of my consciousness. Entering the confines of my abode, mundane routines unfolded, a change of attire, the ritualistic brushing of teeth, a facade of normalcy shielding an unsettling premonition. A revelation of his steadfast presence precipitated a disconcerting paranoia, shrouded in an unnerving silence that pervaded my living room. A surreptitious glance revealed his vehicle still stationed outside. A palpable disquietude quivered within my core. An irksome unease gnawed at my spirit, my instincts ignited by a profound sense of foreboding. I ventured forth, hoping to unravel the enigma that lay shrouded in the nocturnal obscurity. Emerging onto the porch, the veil of darkness shrouded the periphery. My senses on edge, a whisper of movement heralded a chilling revelation. A shadowy figure lurking at the edge of my domain, 
a silent watcher weaving malevolent intentions amidst the darkness. A surge of terror coursing through my veins, my proclamation of contacting the authorities punctuated the night's eerie silence. As I hastened to seek refuge within my haven, his hurried retreat bore testimony to a nefarious presence, fleeing into the obscurity from whence he emerged. Summoning the guardians of law and order, their arrival proved belated, a silent witness to the vacuous space where malevolence had lingered. The echo of his escape, the phantom Uber driver, evaded the clutches of justice, vanishing into the ink-black tapestry of the night. In the aftermath of that eerie night, the specter of that sinister encounter loomed large, an indelible mark etched upon the fabric of my consciousness. An enigmatic brush with terror, a macabre dance with the unseen, an Uber ride that descended into the abyss of horror, forever etched in the annals of my memory.